Look at that yolk. So I'm having breakfast right now. We have some warm rice as well as egg. And then we got some townies cucumber salad, kimchi, as well as miso soup with seaweed. We're having a pretty big breakfast today because it's a long day. We have a lot of errands to run, a lot of meetings to do. And then I'm gonna do some recipe testing. Then we're gonna go grocery shopping, come back, we'll have some blog posts. But right now, I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna answer some emails. Mm. I'm gonna hop in some calls and some meetings and then I'm gonna work on my blog post at admin. I'm now gonna go run some errands. I have to go to the bank, go to a few meetings, and then I'm actually gonna go pick up a new lens. Well, I'm gonna go try it on. I feel like this lens is like really close to my face. Like I'm always like, hello. But then I feel like if I get like a wide lens, it will look really nice. So I'm gonna go try on a wide lens. I also wanna get a lens protector. But yeah, I'll take you guys along with me. And hopefully in the next clip that you guys see, we have a new lens. Okay guys, what do you think? I feel like you can see so much more of like what's going on behind me. So I feel like it makes such a better vlogging camera. But compared to earlier, this is the exact same distance, but it's like so much more wider now. But yeah, I love this camera. I'm gonna head home now and actually start recipe testing. So yeah, let's go. So what do you guys think? I feel like this lens is so much better. You can see so much more, but anyways, I'm not gonna recipe test now. We're back into my kitchen. I wanna recipe test a spicy garlic potato today. I want to be really garlicky, but I want it to be more like Sichuan spicy, so it's a little bit numbing, a little bit more like savory. And then I want to try to make an egg drop tomato soup that takes less than 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll time myself and do that. So normally, I test out recipes around two to three times before I actually film it. So today is my first time making both. So I'll write it down and see kind of how much I use and then I'll adjust it, try it again a few times and then I'll let you guys know how I like it. This is like my favorite part is actually testing different recipes. But yeah, let's get cooking. So I'm actually gonna steam these mini potatoes first and then I'm gonna pan fry it. I think that way the inside's gonna be really soft and creamy and then the outside will be really crispy. So let's try out that method. We're gonna try to make like a spicy powder to go on top. So I'm gonna try out different spices and then we'll see which ones we need to adjust for next time. Yummy, this looks so good. Look at that, it smells so good too. So I actually had a dream about these last night and I was craving potatoes and I had potatoes in the fridge and I actually had a dream. I was like, what about spicy Sichuan potatoes? So I woke up and I gave this a try. So I'll let you guys know how we like it. Taste test time. Mmm. I think I'm gonna try to get next time, cut it in half, a little bit more seasoning, a little bit saltier. But overall, like I like the method of steaming it and pan frying because look, it's like really fluffy on the inside. Mm. Okay, so now I'm going to try a tomato egg drop soup and I want to try to make it in less than 15 minutes. So I'm actually going to time myself and I'll see how long it takes. But yeah, let's go. We hit the four minute mark. So that was mostly just prepping the ingredients. But I think for cooking, it's not gonna take that long. So that took around 11 minutes and 14 seconds, which I think that, inc well, that included like a little bit of styling as well as prepping and everything. I think we can do prepping and cooking in less than 10 minutes next time I do it. But I think the most important part is actually the taste test. Mm. 
I know it's really hot right now and there's a heat wave, but there's something about having soup. I just love soup. So like, I think that I'm gonna make it just like a 10 minute recipe, but I feel like it would also taste really good if you added noodles in it, like a noodle soup recipe. And then that will add like another like extra five minutes. If you cook noodles on the side and put it in. Super, super yummy. Um, it's healthy too, right? Cause it's, and it's vegetarian friendly. In total, I believe it's only five ingredients. So it's gonna be a five ingredient only tomato egg drop soup and takes less than 10 minutes. So I'll let you guys know when the recipe's out. It's gonna be probably out around like August, to be honest, cause that's when my Street Night Market series ends. But yeah, I'm gonna eat now. I'm now gonna clean the kitchen, which is like my least favorite part about cooking. But you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. So gonna do a time lapse. So the kitchen is now clean again. Um, I didn't do a too deep of a clean just because I'm still gonna have to make dinner later anyways. I'm gonna work a little bit more blog posts. I'm gonna edit actually some videos and then I'm gonna make some rice first because I wanna make sure we can have a quick dinner when I come back from the grocery store, but yeah. We're heading to the grocery store right now. I'm going to a very specific Asian grocery market. I like to go at night so it's not as busy. So it's currently 7 p.m. so it's not busy at all. And we're gonna pick up some groceries. Let's go! This is like my favorite sheet mask and I always get it at the Asian grocery store. Really good. Get some ground Sichuan pepper, some crushed cumin, as well as some fennel seeds. I feel like these will taste really good in the potato recipe from earlier. So I can go try it again. Rice is on sale, so we're gonna stock up. It's my favorite brand of rice. We gotta pick up a snack. I really like cognac jelly. It's like a very healthy snack. Like they're only 40, you can have two of these and they're only 40 calories. And they're not usually made with a lot of sugar, so I love these. A lot of my pots and pans are actually from Asian grocery markets and they're honestly such good quality. Like these ones are like the Japanese ones and these are perfect. Um, but yeah, and they're stackable too. So definitely go to your local grocery market to see like what they have. But like look, they have so many walks here. And a lot of them are like universal lids too, so that we don't have too much stuff in your house. But yeah, definitely go check it out. And then the knives here are super good. Just got back from the grocery and then we're gonna do a huge, huge, huge grocery haul. We're gonna start with the vegetable and fruits first. So I got Napa cabbage, Taiwanese cabbage, shiitake mushrooms, carrot, People always ask me why these carrots are so huge and these are actually like Chinese carrots. Cucumber, a whole bag of mangoes. And I wanna make mango jelly, which is why I got it. So I got my mango pudding. So we got a huge bag of mangoes to test as well as eat and make into a recipe. Got some cilantro, which I'm actually gonna put in the water after this so that way it stays fresh. Got some nectarines, so a whole bag of that. Some green onion because we're gonna be making some dumplings. I got a lot of meat because we're doing a lot of recipe testing this week as well as filming. So I love boneless chicken thighs with the skin on. And this is like the, TNT is like the only grocery store that does it. So I got five packs of boneless chicken thigh with the skin on. We're gonna eat actually two of those today for dinner. Got some ground pork. Got steak, because I'm gonna make Mongolian beef. And then I was craving fish, so I got some black cod, because we're gonna make this for dinner tonight as well. Whenever our condiments are on sale, I usually stock up and or whatever, I'm out of it. So I got some satay sauce, like Taiwanese satay jam. This is really good. I have a Taiwanese satay jam fried rice recipe. Super good, but I always have it in the fridge. This is also really good when you are making hot pot. The only doban sauce that I love, this is like my go-to condiment. I'm actually fully out of it. So I stocked up on a big one like this. This can last in the fridge probably around three months or so. I usually use it for Taiwanese beef no soup, marinated meat, mapo tofu. You always use spicy doban sauce. And then I got furikake seasoning because I just love it. I have it every day, especially for breakfast with rice and eggs. And then I also got some cooked sesame paste. This is also the only brand that I use. It's the Watson brand and it was on sale, so I stocked up. And then I found this, I never tried this before, but I think this will be really yummy. But it is yuzu honey, and it's like Japanese yuzu honey. And 
Let me see. I think this will be really good for when Dom is going to make drinks. And let me see what it looks like, actually. Ooh, it's so cute. So it looks like this in the packaging. I also got some spices. When I was making the potato dish earlier, I felt like we were missing a little bit more extra, like, intense, like, kick flavor. So I got some fennel seeds got some crushed cumin, and also got some um, ground sichuan pepper. And finally, obviously, we had to pick up some Asian snacks. I am obsessed with cognac jelly. It's like a very healthy snack. It's only 10 calories per two packs of these. So I'll actually show you guys how big they are. They're like this size, like this, and you just rip it off and you can't squeeze it in. But it's like super healthy snack. I like to put it in the fridge, like it's really refreshing. So I got the grape as well as apple flavor. I also got this cognac jelly. It's the passion fruit flavor. So I never tried it before, but it looked really good. So we're going to try this. Um, this is one of my favorite summer ice cream bar, AC bars. I recently discovered it. It's basically Milky's ice sorbet tubes. And I love sorbet tubes when I like, like creamy ice cream. So I had to pick this up. This was on sale. This whole bag was only $3. And then I never tried this before too, but it's spicy chips and then they're kind of like turtle chips i like the turtle chips that are like the hazelnut nutella ones like the churro flavor ones are really good so i want to try the spicy ones and then this is like one of my favorite sheet masks and then i like i usually go to the grocery store to pick up any like beauty related items like all my mascara my eyeliner my sheet mask my skincare a lot of it is actually from the asian grocery store but this is one of my favorite go-to it's like a really brightening sheet mask and i use it like every other day and it's really really good and I forgot to mention, I also stocked up on rice. It was on sale. This is my favorite brand of rice, and I got two big bags. Hope you guys like this grocery haul. I'm going to put everything in the fridge now, and then I'm going to go prepare dinner. The fridge is officially restocked for the week. I'm now gonna prepare dinner. I am so tired. I'm just gonna do a really quick, easy dinner. I think we're gonna do some steamed fish, Chinese cucumber salad, three cup chicken, and then we're gonna have the leftover tomato and egg soup, as well as potatoes. Here is the dinner. We got some three cup chicken, steamed fish, all the side dishes, rice, and we're also gonna eat the leftover tomato soup and eggs. We're gonna eat dinner now, so I'll see you guys next week. Bye!